package just touched down and I gotta give a huge shout out to the better generation. Look at this beautiful tissue paper, y'all. And we just gonna get right into it. Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Eddie here. Welcome back to GTE. And for this video, as you guys can see by this box, we have a very special sneaker. And in my opinion, one of the top three Jordan 4s of all time, as well as one of my biggest grails of all time. But before we get into it, please make sure that you smash that like button. And if you see anything that you like throughout this video, or if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. And just getting into it, y'all, we have the Jordan 4 Retro Lightning. This sneaker has not come out for about 15 years. It's been about 11 years since I became a sneakerhead, so I've been personally waiting about 11 years, but the real OGs have been waiting for 15 years plus. There has been so many rumors for so many years that it was gonna re-retro and all of this stuff, and it never came out. But Thunder Dun dropped about two times since the original release, which was alongside this, which I'll get into later within the history, but it's been retro twice already, and this is the first time the sneaker has retro since 15 years. So that was really annoying in my opinion, because I really think this is really one of the best Jordan 4s to ever exist. Many people may not agree with me, but again, I've been fiending for this shoe since I was about 14 years old. So this shoe right here is very special to me, guys. So let's just get right into the details of the box, all right? Now, when looking at the details of the box, as you guys can see, we have this kind of OG Jordan 4 box. However, due to the fact that it's a lightning colorway, we have this yellow lid as well as the cement bottom. And then when you take off the lid right here, you guys can see that beautiful dark gray Jumpman as well as that white flight logo right there then when we go on to the side of the box you guys can see the sticker right there and I got to give a huge shout out to the better generation I actually hit a double up on the Jordan 4 lightnings however it was really random for the fact that I hit the better generation if you guys know they're really a legitimate business and try their best to make raffle wins and sneaker W's as fair as possible for their customers and I also think that PJ Tucker actually owns this business so that's why they go so hard for the customers and for real sneakerheads to get their sneakers so big shout out to the better generation I wish you guys kept up that live stream so I could see my live reaction right before my birth Day, but it's okay because this was a great pre-birthday present. I also have to give a big shout out to Takeout NY for giving me my first raffle W on the sneaker as well. So again, like I said before, I hit my double up and this is really a personal. You guys are going to see a beautiful on foot at the end of this video because I really love this shoe and I've been waiting so many years. I literally turned into an old man from 2005 till now. So anyways, let's just get back into the details with the sticker. So the sticker reads as Air Jordan 4 Retro. The colorway shown is tour yellow and blue gray. Obviously my personal size is size 8 so I always go true to size with Jordan 4s and the suggested retail on this is actually $220 and a lot of people are complaining about that but I'm gonna tell you guys what makes this really interesting and then on this box specifically since I wanted from the better generation that's why there's a better generation barcode right there so again big shout outs to you guys as well as takeout NY now let's just get into the details of the shoe man so now when we take off this lid we have <laughs> this cement print wax tissue paper and then we have these beautiful babies right here, man. I'm just telling you, man, look how beautiful this shoe is, man. I'm so in love with this shoe, bro. I really have it in hand. But before we get into the details of the shoe, let's speak about the history on it. So actually before the Jordan 4 Lightning actually came out in 2006 and it actually released as a pack. However, Jordan brand made the smart decision to sell them separately as a pack instead of how they do those tier zero packs like the DMP packs where it's the two big boxes and you get two sneakers with it. But you know, that wasn't my choice, that was Jordan Brand's choice. And with that, we had the Thunder and the Lightning. Obviously, maybe I'm biased, I'm gonna choose the Lightning first because it's the better pair. But what's also really interesting about the release is that it didn't release through the regular Nike.com or through stores. It actually released through the Jumpman 23 website, which was kind of like a direct to consumer website. So think about it like this. You see how the Travis Scott's releases on the sneakers app, and that's kind of the main way to get it. But however, Travis Scott also releases the Travis Scott sneakers on his own website. That's kind of how it was. So we had Nike.com. However, when you had special releases, that's how Jumpman 23 would actually drop on their website. So they didn't do a lot of releases. They only dropped like the big exclusive joints on their website. So just kind of use that Travis Scott example to kind of get what I'm saying. So that's how they actually released. And what's really interesting about the suggested retail about this pack was that the original retail was $250, y'all. Now, for those of you new heads or new sneaker heads who's complaining that it's $220, think about paying $250 for this shoe back in 2006. So now when you include the rate of inflation into those shoes back then, 
Think about how expensive 250 was back then as opposed to $220 now. Just think about that. We got an old special edition shoe for a cheaper price in 2020. I'm not complaining like at all. So, you know, it is what it is. So now when getting more into the history about this shoe, it was actually inspired by the OG Jordan brand motorsport team. I know nowadays when you think about the motorsport colorways, you're thinking about the blues, the blacks and the whites, but the actual original colorway of the Jordan brand motorsport team was actually that kind of tour yellow like this, as well as the black and the grays. So that was actually the original colorway of the Jordan brand motorsport team. So I think about 2008 and beyond is when he decided to go into that kind of blue, white, black era of the Jordan motorsport. 14. So that just about concludes the history about this shoe as well as the pack that it came in. Again, this is way better than the Thunder Pairs and I know a lot of people like the Thunder Pairs more because it's more black and you can kind of pull it off with more outfits. But if you know how to rock your shoes, you know how to rock it. So anyways, that concludes the history of the shoe. Now let's get into the details of the shoe right here, y'all, alright? Alright guys, so when looking primarily at the upper of this shoe, you guys can see it's in this beautiful Tor Yellow Nubuck. Although this is more of a duller colorway of the yellow compared to the OG, the OG was way brighter. The materials on the new pair is way better. I'm sorry, people are going to hate me for that, but I'm telling you guys, the Nubuck on this is just so soft, bro. Like. It's so crazy and it creases so well. So for my people who already got their pairs and started wearing it, you guys know how beautiful this shoe looks on feet, how comfortable it is, and how well it creases. So anyways, now looking back into the toe box, as you guys can see here, we have that beautiful new buck right there. And again, like I said before, it's gonna crease so well. Next, when we go towards the top of the shoe, we have some black netting right here. Then we have this kind of brighter yellow lace. So for me, what I'm gonna tell you guys is the OG color actually had this kind of brighter yellow as you guys can see right here on the laces. And if you compare the yellow on the new buck compared to the laces, you can clearly see the yellow difference. So that's basically how much brighter the OG pair was compared to the retro as you guys can see right here. Now when looking at the top of the tongue, we have this beautiful Flight Jumpman logo right here. I really love that it's in this kind of dark gray or graffiti colorway, and then it has the yellow and white contrasting right there from the Jumpman and the Flight logo right there. Now when looking at the lateral side of this shoe, as you guys can see, we have some of my favorite details of the Jordan 4. We have our plastic translucent black or translucent gray eyelets right here. And then when we go up, we have our black netting right there, as you guys can see. And then of course we have the iconic Jordan wings and instead of having it in that plastic, we actually have it in this kind of premium new buck as you guys can see right here. And we have our translucent TPU eyelets as you guys can see right here. Next, we have an all white midsole as well as that exposed air bubble right there. Then when we go into the back of the shoe, we have one of my favorite details of the Jordan 4. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I usually hate the Jumpman logo on fours. I prefer the Nike Air. But as you guys know, they usually say that for collaborations as well as the OG pairs of that specific shoe. However, with this shoe right here, it goes perfectly because we already knew it wasn't an OG colorway. But if you just feel the materials, we have this kind of thick cut Nubuck. I don't know if you guys are going to see how thick that is through the camera, but it's a really thick cut of Nubuck, man. I'm telling you, man, it may be a GR, but they really did this specific sneaker justice. In comparison to the OG pair, the retro knocks it right out of the park because the premium cut heel tab as well as the jump man i'm telling y'all the og pair had more of a thicker jump man that was more plasticky this one is a kind of slimmer one as well as it has a super metallic finish which i really love so i'm telling y'all this detail right here blows out the og by the park now when going on to the medial side the same thing follows suit as you guys can see we have our wings right here with the translucent plastic eyelets and we also have our netting right there in the black colorway now when we go back to this side and we flip the shoe over we have this beautiful outsole right here so we have our dark gray herringbone traction as well as hits of white and tour yellow right there and also on a final note for the review it's important to note that this midsole is made out of that polyurethane and which is not standard to most jordan 4 releases because jordan brand doesn't want to spend too much money on it we actually get a polyurethane insole so look at that that is why when you will wear this shoe you would actually feel the difference of comfort compared to like the 2018 or 2019 bread pair and the other jordan 4s so most jordan 4s now unless they're in a collaboration they won't really come with the polyurethane insole because again i think they don't want to spend that cheese but just look at the details right here man we have an all white polyurethane insole as well as that graffiti dark gray jump man right there and of course we have our size tag sticker on that and other than that shot the right shoe looks just like the left shoe so i think that's going to conclude the overall review of the shoe but be sure to stay tuned for this on for look all right
All right, child. So that's going to conclude the overall review as well as the on for look. And other than that, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to share with your friends and your family. Make sure to smash that like button. And if you see anything that you like throughout the video, or if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. I completely forgot. That was my fault.